guys before we get into this video i wanted to show you my new early what i call christmas gift <laughs> from bob and brad this is a heat and air compression foot massager after the long extended holiday hours i worked and all the cooking i did in the kitchen this was the perfect time for this to arrive for me to have a spa time for my feet okay so this foot massager is very simple to assemble. All that I had to do was plug it up. I love that it has a low, medium, and high setting on it. I love that it has the heat component to it as well. I don't talk about it often, but I'm always having some aches and pains in my feet because of just the field of work that I'm in. I stand up all the time. So I'm always trying to get Mr. Allen to rub on my feet so I don't have to ask anymore I have my own personal foot massager I love the fact that it has a remote control that I can control it with I can control the kneading the heat as well as the intensity right from the remote control this foot massager is so good and it feels amazing on my feet I'm not just seeing it guys I have really been enjoying it I've had it now for a couple of weeks and I wanted to test it out, see how I like it before I shared it with y'all. Um, so I think this is a perfect gift for the holidays for somebody who have issues with um, swelling on their feet and on, on their legs. I think this is the perfect gift to give someone for the upcoming holiday. I really appreciate Bob and Brad for sending me over this foot massager. I will leave a discount code in the description box if you'd like to pick up one or two for a special someone in your family again guys thank you again bob and brad for this heat air compression foot massager me too i want me an old school car
Oh yeah, y'all, what is up? I said, let me pop on, cause it's a lot going on today. I said, let me pop on to chat it up real quick before the festivities get started. I'm actually um, over my family's house. So yeah, we are having like a family day hanging out uh, at my family house this weekend. We, they're having a parade like right outside of their house. So I came over here to meet some family that I've never met before and just have a good time. So right now we're just kind of just chilling, people watching, laughing, talking, having a good time. And um, so I'm gonna bring y'all along for the festivities. Um, I love it because it's like a whole lot of family, friends getting together. This is my first time doing it in, I think since my grandmother was living here. But um, exciting to be here, having a good time. So um, we're gonna see a whole lot, a whole lot of, a whole lot of bands dancing, old school cars. So it's super exciting. I'm checking out the bar. Checking out the bar over here. But I'm gonna head back outside. My aunt has it decorated so beautiful for Christmas. It's so pretty. Oh, let me show y'all this. Look at her. I love it. I love it. It's so pretty. Look at this tree. It's beautiful. I'm going to show y'all her other tree, too. It's a little dim, but oh my goodness. This is my first time seeing it. I love it. And I used to have a white tree. And I got rid of my white tree. I love this. Wow. So pretty. Anywho, let me get back out here with the fam. So come along for this journey today. Know, I don't know the speed, but he, as soon as he got down, pulled me over the line, he went back right back to that side. Gotcha. And I'm like, you know, there's a speed trap. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, it was like, you know, there's something about your face being like, we always. You gotta open your eyes. Sorry. Yeah. I was like, I'm sorry. And, uh, She went to the floor. Okay. <laughs> I meet all your cousins. Hey, hey. From Texas, they said by way of uh, California. Mm -hmm. These are not my, my uh, this is my. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're taking up too much spot. I know you've been partying hard all week. I know it. I passed by there. It was it was smoking over there. You be careful now. I didn't think he he must he got on a shirt. I ain't know he was a rattler. I didn't know he was a rattler too. Who is that? Victor. Victor. Victor's a rattler. Eighty three. Yeah, he graduated. I didn't know. Yeah, just pop. Look, I'm trying to recuperate from last. I see you. I see you. I see you walking slow. I flowed all the way from from the front to the back to the left to the right. I see you walking. Let me get my. Let me get my. I'm trying to get that. Do you do this? I do. I sure do. <laughs> How you made it here today? Oh my God! <laughs> I woke up this morning. And I said I ain't going nowhere. Look at, <laughs> and look at you. And then pull out a the flow. Mighty marching band. Dog all right. <laughs> Only band was bad. Oh, so I'm gonna get to see some moves today. 
This is not as much as I need. I need to see some moves today. You know, Start up one more time, time like Come on now. Come on now. You on that spot? Oh, you gonna catch today? <laughs> hey, look, I'm gonna tell y'all. I, I played the band at Lafleur. And one of my wishes was always marching the band one more time. I played in college band, but to march in the band one more time. So I had like a, um, what you played? I played drums, trombone, tuba, and baritone. Yeah. Okay. I played trombone. Yeah. So <laughs> this is what happened. So my wish finally came true. Mm -hmm. After all these years, here it is. I'm like 50 years old, <laughs> marching in the alumni band. Okay. For the first time, I sit there, and they had the pep rally. I mean, when we practiced, as soon as they like hit that first note, I was already on point with that bass drum. So check this out. Now, the funny part going to come up. <laughs> so I played the pep rally. Pep rally was cool. Lady say, we need some players to march in the parade because everybody always don't want to march in the parade. Okay. So I'm sitting there thinking, I said, well, we used to drink and have a good time when I'm marching. So I decided I'm going to drink a little something before I get myself hyped up. Okay. We marched from the back of the uh, old school, the new school, up to the old school. I looked around. I said, is it too late to get out of this shit? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to out. I mean, I ain't walking on them from here to right there okay. with the ponies. <laughs> but the drums are bigger than what we I used to do. I smell it too. Man, it's all over this place. Yeah. <laughs> you said it was going to be lit up. You said it was going to be lit up. Okay, you say collectively. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. I love it. It is. I got married early. I said, you came out here empty-handed? Yeah, no, I did. It's coming. Okay. I got to take guys into work. You did pretty good. It's smooth. Yeah, get up some of it's smooth. I'm going to have to give me some of that. Oh my God, do it on. I need to be on this side. Oh, look at, um. <laughs> hey, Curry. <laughs> hey, Bonza. <laughs>
y'all be seeing.
running shameless. Necklace on me decorated. All this got me feeling jaded. Hold up, hold up, I'll be waiting. Bad thing on my radar. Tell me that I'm in a playlist. Flower bomb, she a lotus. I be thinking that I'm famous. I remember when I prayed for this. No sleep, cause I'm anxious. All this shit for entertainment. Crazy thinking that it's day one. All this business for the taking. Yeah. Hold it down for the nameless.
shoes on. We go get my seat now. That was so fun. Yes. God, smile. He smiles. God smiles. <laughs> this is Marciano, all them guys, they came, they went to work, but they didn't sell no more than eight, seven cars, and at the end of the month, they said, man, I'm going to get terminated if I don't get one. Can I give you a deal? Can I give them a car? Why do you think they ain't sell as many as you sold? Because... They didn't put in the work. It's just like, see, my wife fussed at me. Cause you always had your phone. Yeah, but you know we it's got with a purpose. paydays. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we have paydays. It's with a purpose. Well, what I do, what I do. You sound like my husband. <laughs> yeah, cause people that's not doing the same thing don't right. always understand. Right. But sometimes you have to call and say hello when it ain't nothing involved. Right. In it. That's true. Because those are the people, it don't always come from the people that you talk to, but it's those people who tell other people to do, you know, to participate in right. what you do. That's true. If I didn't learn nothing else from you, I, I learned about work ethic. Yeah. <laughs> work See, ethic. They, they talk about LeBron James. Uh-huh. Because he comes to the stadium before everybody and after everybody leave, go home, he's still taking a few more shots. Right. Kobe Bryant, he get to the stadium before everybody get there. The uh -huh. game is at 6 o'clock. He get there at 2 or 3 o'clock. He shoot. Right, right, right. You know I mean, after the game's over, he's still shooting. You know? So it's a difference in the people that are very successful and then those people who are mediocre. Right, right. But you still try to be compatible with That's the people who give you complaints about it. Your success. Mm-hmm. They sure live dangerously. Yeah, they don't have it. Ride on the edge of that truck. Is this your bag, George? No. That's Trucy's bag. I was sure thinking about giving me one of them oatmeal cakes. I said, but that ain't mine. I said, that ain't mine. Oh, you got some, George? Uh-huh, I got a bag. Ah, great. Smell kind of good out here. Uh huh. <laughs> I sure want this house. Which one? This one or that one? This one. Because it's next door. You always want to control this next door. That one bacon too, 620. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, what they want for it. Some work. It needs some major work. How y'all doing? Y'all alright? How y'all doing today? Hello. Okay, it's all good. Okay. I know that name. It was. I 
I like it. How y'all doing? <laughs> I have never walked down this street. I like it. How y'all doing today? Hello. Got the junk pot over there. Yeah. Yeah, the market is going to sell. Mm-hmm. Well, maybe that's what you for. Oh, no, nah, he don't want... No, I just didn't look at it and observe it. Me too. I do too. I think y'all doing all right. Okay, y'all looking like y'all having fun. Oh, hello there. I'm walking down here to the floors. What's this? Alumni? Alumni weekend. weekend. Yeah, I'm walking down Donald Street from my house with my niece. Yes. Darkers. <laughs> all right. So we're on a business move. We're on say, a business move. Yeah, we're going to say hello to all the good people. Okay, okay. Yeah, we're crossing Allison Street. Happening here on this beautiful Saturday. The weather is just tremendous. It is beautiful. And yeah, they got alumni from all of the classes of What's that, John L. LaFleur? John and L. LaFleur, yeah. And Tobinville. Which way? This way, that way? Yeah, we're going to go around this way here. Call that some of the folks here. It's going to be a very, very pleasant experience. Okay. I'm wearing my Central High School maroon and white. You had to represent. 1970. Yeah. Because through this school here, it was this birth came from Central. Okay. So let's see. You'll hear more about it. clothes huh <laughs> but I am sitting here what am I doing editing this video that you just finished watching and I realized I just like dropped y'all off and like stop recording so I want to just pop in to close this video out hopefully y'all enjoyed this video it was really just me picking up the camera of hanging out with family hanging out with friends 
we had such a great time. I um was not expecting to go to that event at the end, but my uncle wanted me to walk down with him, so I did, and I ended up running into so many people I knew. So I just put the camera down. It was so much music going on anyway. Got to see and spend time with my goddaughter. She was there with her grandmother um, and her mom. But yeah, it was a great, great day. Uh, we had a good time. I got to meet some uh, cousins that I've never met before. So that was fun. Of course, we had so much to talk about because I found out she was a hairstylist of 25 plus years. So we we connected and um, have been talking and communicating ever since. So it was really good. I'm so glad I ended up going. I wasn't even planning on going over there. <laughs> Uh, and, um, but I'm glad I went and, uh, I had a blast. So hopefully y'all enjoyed it. It was a whole lot of stuff going on, but it was a good time. It was a good time. So just want to come and close this video out. Thank y'all. If you made it this far, I appreciate you as always for tuning in and watching the vlogs. Um, I think this will be the last video for November. It is officially Christmas. Merry Christmas. <laughs> yes, y'all. Made it through Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving was amazing. Um, but it is officially Christmas season. So, um, definitely looking forward to having some holiday Christmas vlogs. Showing y'all my Christmas decor. I'm probably 85-90% done with my Christmas decor in my home. I really love it how it came out and I love how everything is just so cozy and I love it, love it, love it. So I'm sure I'll be showing y'all that eventually. So again, I will see y'all in the next vlog, okay? Hopefully y'all having an amazing day and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye y'all.